Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Angie. Welcome to another vlog. This time is the my uh, vlog that was the my tag that was tagged for. Uh, also, please forgive my hair looking like a total mess. I just brushed them and they're like, I don't know what's wrong with them. Life, life is cruel to that to us sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I was tagged by Game Gallows in Tammy Tag. Also, the link to their channel is somewhere up there because they're lovely. And also, you should follow them on Twitter because Jeremy will make your feet a little bit just funnier and more ridiculous. Um, but anyway, we are doing Tammy Tag today, which is too much information tag. And I will divide this into two parts so, uh, 25 questions. In this video and 25 in another. Uh, I don't think I said that there are 50 questions in the same area, but yeah, there are 50 questions overall. Okay, we're starting. Uh, what are you wearing? Well, you can see. Uh, finally, I decided to actually wear something that is not black because 90% of my wardrobe is black, and they use some feel that I'm the spawn of a satan, so that's something that is not black. Um, I think this is like third time that I actually wear that, so that's also a thing. Uh, and pants down where you can can see if you if you really need to know this. Uh, have you ever been in love? That's a very very tough question. Um, I don't know. I think. Twice was like a real love. I'm not going to count in a relationship when I was 16 and I didn't even have an idea what life is and what love is. I'm not counting that relationship. I thought this was love back then, but this was far from being love. Uh, truly, that was that was just having fun to get happy and <laughs> wasn't love. Uh, there were two relationships which I was in love. But every time it was fake love. Um, first time because I was pretty much manipulated a lot, and I really was deeply uh, connected to that. Per I believe I was deeply connected. I believe we had something, and it lasted for a long time. But it ended up him being very manipulative and trying to hurt me a lot, and he did. Uh, so this was the first time and the second time I say it's fake because it's a very very bizarre situation because I'm with someone for two years and maybe the problem was that we weren't living in the same city uh, it wasn't far from each other we weren't far from each other but you know for a longer period of time we saw each other like two times a month because well, that, that was the possibilities, because school, because money and everything. Um, and after those two years, he asked me to marry him. I said yes, because like, it was all good, all good. Um, but then he kind of uh, <coughs> changed a lot. Like, he was a completely different person. Like... I looked at him and I knew that I don't have any feelings for him because I had a feelings for a person that he was before. That was so bizarre because uh like you look at the same person and it's not the same. So and even when I would try to talk about it and I said like we have to do something, we have to talk about it, he was like uh just walked out of the room and left and never ever we spoke again, so uh, there's that. Um, have you ever had a terrible breakup? Well, we know with the manipulative guy that was freaking terrible. I was scared to get out of house for another few months. And I ended up uh, with a therapist. So this was damn terrible. Um, how tall are you? I am 1 meter 80 centimeters tall. And for you American folks, I believe that's 5.9. Uh, five plus, I, I don't, I don't understand how your metric system works. I mean, your fit, fit system works. I don't understand that. Um, how much you, uh, you, 
you do not ask that question a woman a woman you do not i'll just tell you guys that which you can see by my face i believe i'm not a skilled model of a curves ah uh, and that's all you get that's all you get um any tattoos i i, I know that I want to say that because that is true, but you, there will be so many people laughing from me and thinking I'm like some silly little stubby girl, but I don't care. Um, I mean, I don't have tattoos right now. And for a long time, I thought of them as something that is not uh, good for me or anything. But I do have uh, two tattoos that I've been thinking about getting, which I'm not going to get anytime soon. Uh, I'm sure of it because I still need to rethink what exactly I want. But uh, I've been learning Japanese recently, and I have to say that uh, I really love this language, and I really love the fact that you have one uh, symbol and you have a whole word or a couple of words actually you can have two i think well maybe not a couple of words for them but it has a meaning and i want to find such something very positive and very creative and inspiring for me make it into japanese uh symbol and have it on the back of my neck uh which Many people try to do because that they think that it's cool, but they don't have uh, an idea what the symbol really means. So they can have ramen there, broaden out autumn. Who freaking knows? Uh, but yeah, I will know what that symbol means, so I will be sure that it is what I want really. And that's the first tattoo. And the second tattoo I want to get is uh, on the back of my shoulder here. I don't really know what, but I think that's something little. Uh, and well, I don't want to say cute because that will it's another trend to think that will make me into a silly bond. Um, but just something little I, I kind of feel like getting. So there's that. That's, that's the details I want to get, uh, which. Well, I said I probably will not be anytime soon because I still want need to find what exactly I want. And the piercings, actually, uh, I have my ears pierced, which you can see there are no earrings here right now. Uh, but I usually wear really small earrings. Earrings, anyway. I don't think my webcam would really cast them anyway. Uh, but yes, for a long time I was trying to get a new ring here um but it really my ear really didn't wanted it uh because it was getting messy forever like if this gets keeps getting messy and like i mean really messy for two or three months then it doesn't really it it can happen i tried doing this like three times and three times i had to like pull it out and let it just grow back together and it did uh after three months because I don't know, it's it just got too messy. And no, I did not do that like I don't know by myself or anything. I did it in the salon and it didn't work. So there's that. OTP I hate that word so much. Like if you say OTP it like it shows your age which is below sixteen. But and I for the longest time I, I'm I'm really not uh, that kind of person who like when they like a singer or actor or whatever it's not like i just uh go like oh my god i love them and oh my oh, oh my god i want them to be with someone especially if this counts like real people because if there are fictional people i can understand but if someone has otp towards real existing people then what the hell is wrong with your life uh, and I I was sure that I don't have OTP here, but I have realized that I do. Um, it's fictional OTP, don't worry. I, I will not, like, contradict my words. 
and it's from the book that I don't remember what it was called. Half, half, my God. I have to do this, it's not because the book is away. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's somewhere away. I can't really get it to it now. Um, I will re write it on the screen later on, but basically, this is a book about vampires. Yeah. I have so many uncool things to say today. <laughs> and I know how you feel about vampires after Twilight. I'm not a fan of Twilight. And if there are any fans of Twilight, then it's your choice. It's okay. But you can like whatever you want. I, I don't feel Twilight shows a real vampires. But that's my own opinion. So I am not going to argue with anyone. What I think uh, that book shows is the real vampire stuff because they have a whole hierarchy and history and everything is so nasty put together that it like if that would happen in real life I wouldn't be surprised. And don't call me crazy. I play enough horror games to know that there can be weird things in our lives which we cannot see so I'm not putting away anything. It, it vampires might be a thing one day who knows but um my favorite pairing is well the main pairing of the book which is kitten and bones bones is a vampire kitten is well half vampire and uh they are just so amazing like uh they're just so much love and emotion and that kind of love which i think is the real love uh, which has both partnership and chemistry. I don't think those both things can work without each other, but I think they can they can only work together if you get both of those things. That's what true love is, and that is the love that will last. Uh, if I mean, if you if you work on it. But yeah, this is a beautiful and they are so lovely together. And I had to say that in the third uh, book, because it's a long, I think the third is still ongoing. Yet yeah, I'm waiting for third book. In the third book, there was some really, really tragic moment that I had to stop reading. And for the next 10 minutes, I was crying. I was thinking all of the different possibilities, imagining things that this didn't happen. That's how, that's how engrossed in the book I was. This is probably not healthy. But yeah, so let's say Kitten and Bones are my OTP. Um, what is your favorite show? Uh, I don't have one. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't have a show that I watch right now that would be like, well, Let's say American Horror Story because I really love it, although I haven't watched it for a while, I, sh I probably should, but American Horror Story is so amazing because I can watch one episode a day. I don't have one that's strange to watch for. Um, who are your favorite <laughs> Do you really want me to go on for another 10 minutes and listen to all my favorite bands? I listen to many different things. We'll leave this question. <laughs> Um, okay, something you miss, I miss my grandmother who passed away a few years ago and who was an amazing person, the kindest person, that, the sweetest person I know, I, she's amazing, she was, I have never met another human being like her. She was truly amazing. Favorite song. Um, they change, and I, but at the moment I I don't really listen to anything specifically. I wouldn't say that. Um, one thing that I always love, and I every time I. I, I decide to listen to it. It's so calm and so amazing. It makes me feel so happy. Uh, is the 
um, Pasha Bell's Canon in D major, which is actually a melody, not a song, but I guess it fits. Um, how old are you? I'm 22 and a half. So, uh, zodiac sign. I am a Cancer. Actually, a first day of Cancer, I believe. And there are so many things that Cancer does that really are about me and that really fit me. For example, uh, it's said that Cancers can't really control their money, and yeah, I can control my wallet and it, it, as well. I mean, it's much better for me to go out with no wallet or money than to go and i have to fight the desire to put like if i have money in my wallet it's better if it's left at home because it might they might not be there by the time i come back even if i don't plan buying anything i mean we go through shops and stuff and cafes and whatever um quality look for in a partner one thing that i truly look for in a partner and i need my partner to understand and without that there is no possibility of partnership and maybe maybe i'm asking for the much and i'll be lonely forever and that's how my life will be but i really want partnership like even business partnership like I don't have to deal with chauvinistic stuff I don't have to deal with annoying chauvinistic comments and that uh, we can we can like decide okay this week I make dinner and you clean the house you know you know the idea that it's not like this like you should do this and you should do this and you should do this and a cat you're a woman you don't know even how to take care of your house and actually if I'll make my future partner something edible I would jump from a happiness that it actually is edible because I suck at cooking I suck at cooking so much and even though I I don't think anyone likes cleaning, but if I have to choose between cooking and cleaning, I would choose cleaning because this is something that I actually can do, but I want honesty and I want partnership. That's the quality I truly look in for a partner. Uh, what is your favorite quote? And I have it on my kitchen, which is far away from me right now. I forgot to get it, but it's because like, uh, as long as you fight, you are a winner. Uh, because it it means that you have if it doesn't matter what the real outcome is as long as you're fighting you're good and you should keep on fighting and becoming better and that that's what I try to tell myself and that's what I need to tell myself a lot who's your favorite actor I don't think I really have a favorite actor but I really love and I really think he's handsome and you would say that I have a little actor crush, but I know I'll never this I mean I know he's freaking old for me right now, but Kino Reeves is just so amazing. Oh. Uh favorite color, I don't have one. Loud music or soft. Depends by usually loud. It's usually loud. Um where do you go when you're sad? And I'm sad actually. Uh, I sat by my computer, sit by my computer, open YouTube, uh, Google my skin and listen to it a lot and go cry myself to sleep. That's when I'm really sad. That's pretty much what to do. My skin is not a happy song if you're wondering. It's a very sad song. I'm, I am always putting myself into darker and deeper, um, just place. Of sadness and depression I cry all my tears I cry myself to sleep and next time I'm pretty much good then note yourself so I guess sadness is out how long does it take you to shower that's a great question but I'm asking you you mean like quick shower or do you mean like full shower because it's a, it's a bit of difference. I mean, quick shower is your usual shower. It's just getting clean. It's 15 minutes for me to like uh, really get everything clean and ready. 
um, but there are also a long shower, which means that I don't just shower. Um, for example, I wash my hair, and especially I add conditioner to my hair. I add lotion to my body. I use some of my face masks and face creams and that stuff. I do my nails uh, and everything of that family girly stuff. And that then takes me, the shower takes me at least an hour, if not more. How long does it take you to get ready in the morning? Well, when I have time, it's around an hour. But if I have to, like, be quick, I can do it under 20 minutes. Have you ever been in a physical fight? No. Uh, turn offs and the next one is turn offs. Turn on. I'm not going to tell you all of them, of course. <laughs> I'm not crazy. But one thing that I really love in men, and I think it's sexy as hell, is birds. And actually, it doesn't really matter what kind of bird. Although I think I like this little, little bit the most. I it's the most uh, sexy. Uh, but if you have a bird, you have both of me. And turn off is like when you're um, a sexy, annoying, uh, selfish prick that thinks that even if you're in bed with girl and she tells you what she wants you to do, you're you know better. And you don't do it because you know she wouldn't like it. I mean, she said she la she wants that, but you shouldn't believe her, right? Logic. I don't understand your logic, man. Like, don't you want to make your girl happy? If she tells you something, why, while you are together in the intimate moment, why don't you do it? Why? Why do you something completely different? To annoy her? To show her his boss? I don't understand. I don't grasp the idea of your brain because some of us either don't use it or just saw it. Um, the reason I joined YouTube. Oh god, that was a long time ago. The real reason that I ever did that, it was because I was in love of Let's Plays. I watch very popular Let's Players there, then, um, the most popular, so I don't have to give you names, if you will, if you're into gaming, let's play, you know who I'm talking about, uh, is because I was so into Let's Plays, and I wanted to, uh, I couldn't find many of visual novels Let's Plays, and decided that, I mean, I really badly wanted to do Let's Plays or something, but I wanted to do something that I'm good at, and I still believe I'm pretty good at actually visual novels. It's the kind of game that I can figure out easily. Um, I mean, depending on the game, but you know, the basic visual novels. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to do that and I still kind of do I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that was the reason. My reasons why I keep on doing are completely different, but that's why I joined YouTube. Uh, what are your fears? I hate darkness. I have some kind of fear of height I can overcome. Um, I and I don't think it's exactly fear because it's more like it's disgusting to me. But all insects are so disgusting to me that I have an immediate urge to kill everything that's mine in my view. Well, maybe besides ladybugs. Ladybugs are okay, but every spider that I see, I just want to kill him with fire if I can. You will remember that um, I didn't. I don't think I had anything to to like kill him or catch him. So I grabbed the knife because it was like the big knife because it was close by. It just chopped him. I I'm sorry. That's how I get when I see spiders. Hmm. You know, guys, that we are already over 25 questions. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh my god. So, I didn't realize I had too much fun. So, this is the first 27 questions and the next uh, 23. 
we're going to do in the next video thanks everyone for watching don't forget to follow uh game guys because they are amazing and you should love them and support them and everything just be just don't give too much cookies to jeremy remember that okay good so i'll see you very soon